guys and welcome to another video today's a video we have another throwback foundation friday this video today is the makeup forever hd foundation in the shade 4y66 that's what i got going on my face right now if you want to see what i think about this foundation if i still enjoy it and all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys Okay guys, right quick, we're gonna jump into a voiceover just for a little bit so I can cover the eye look. I am going to keep the eye looks in on my foundation throwback Friday videos, just so you can all see what I do. It's nothing special, trust me. <laughs> so I'm using my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Primer number two. I have been using this a lot lately. I really enjoy how it makes my shadows pop. I don't even know if I showed y'all the palette, but if I didn't, it's the Disney Tinkerbell Sparkle A Little Magic ColourPop palette. And I'm taking the shade Awake, which is the dark matte green shade in this palette. So I'm taking that and putting that in my, in my outer V. I don't know. I think I used two shades today, maybe three shades, but we'll see. So I'm just packing it on in my crease as normal with an Amazon brush. This shade is beautiful. It's a beautiful dark hunter green. Uh, I could see using this a lot during the holiday times. Like, yeah, this is a very pretty color. So then I finally took my Bedillium Tools brush that I ordered from Amazon that I felt like I needed. <laughs> I had to have it. I couldn't live without it. And now I'm finally using it. So no more product on that brush, but I'm just using it to blend out the shade Awake to soften the edges. Then I went in with the shade Neverland, which is a glitter shade. I'm trying to give like a detail. I don't know what color, it's green. It's a glitter green shade, that's all I know, y'all. <laughs> so I'm just putting that on the remainder of my lid. So yeah, this was, I used three colors. So this was a simple one, two, three color look. So I'm just packing that on in the open area. Still gonna use my Bedillium Tools brush to blend out any edges so the edges aren't harsh. I think the reason why I wanted to keep this one in it in today is because I didn't use a transition color. Y'all know I always use a transition color in my crease. And I wanted to see how a look would turn out if I did not use a transition color. And it came out okay. It was okay. I didn't use some more practice with it, but it came out okay. So I wasn't mad with it. I just kept going in with the shade Awake, blending, blending, blending. Then I decided to take, it's right here in front of me. Hurry up, Nana. I decided to take the shade Sleep to put that in my inner tear duct, which was a lighter, almost lime green, but not quite lime green in the inner part just to give me I just wanted to use another color, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just packing that on right there. So three colors and I was good. And then next up, I think I, I went in, oh, I showed y'all my primer. So I went in with my Elf Cookies and Dream, my Revolution Kombachi Skin Shot Primer, and my MAC Prep, Prep, Prep Prime, no, MAC, paint pot and laying low so those were the primers i used today so i just wanted to keep this in in the video for anyone who was wondering how i got an eye look or what i use to prime my face with i know i'm that type of person when i watch videos i really want details on the whole look so i tend to try to do this for you guys in most of my videos but yeah that's it that's all i did and then we'll jump into the throwback foundation friday part Okay guys, so welcome back to another foundation Friday. Today's foundation is the Makeup Forever HD Skin in 4Y66. This was a really, really popular 
last year when it came out. I tried it like, I'm gonna say like five times. And as you can see, the bottle is still full. So I never like revisited it. But we are going to do that today. I'll pop up on the screen the price and the specs of the foundation. That way the video isn't long. I wonder how, I hope this still my color. That's looking kind of light, huh? Whoops. Did I think I was this color? We'll see. I kind of like doing these uh, throwback videos because what I think or thought worked last year may not work this year. But we're about to see, cause that's looking kind of light. Pretty good. This foundation, it's almost, it feels like a serum almost. It's not a lot of, it's not heavy on the face. Yeah, this is my shade, we good. I was about to get scared. Okay guys, I am back with the completed makeup look using the Makeup Forever foundation. Mm, I don't know, did I like this when I did the video last time? I have checked on the bottle, I have checked on the box to see if it has an expiration date. I don't see it on there, but I got this right when it first came out. So somebody let me, please let me know if it's expired or not. But I just feel like it looks like I have on makeup. You know how like makeup foundation has set too long and then you go to use it and it's like real thick and just real makeup looking. You know, I know it's foundation it's supposed to look like you got to make it, but I just feel like, and I didn't even, if you notice, I didn't even put any face powder, like um, my Makeup Forever face powder or anything. I just let the foundation set itself. I did use my Beauty Bakery to set the concealer, but other than that, I didn't. And right now I just feel, I mean, it looks okay, but I just feel like I'm made up. Like I'm going to a ball or 
somewhere fancy or something and I just feel like I don't know I just feel like I made up but I'm gonna give it another try and y'all know I have that other shade 4Y68 so I'm gonna give it another try before I actually toss it because it probably is expired yes but if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like comment and subscribe and of course I'll see you in the next one bye guys